Hi everybody, I'm Doug Miles along with Calvin Williams. We're here at Booker High School's Tornado Alley where the Sarasota Millionaires have come back to win a very important game tonight, beating the Muck City Stars 28-13 to to a country home playoff game next Saturday against the East Coast Reapers. And uh, uh, Calvin, uh, it wasn't an easy win tonight. you got to give Muck City a lot of credit. They came in with uh, really nothing to play for. They don't have the playoff picture, making uh, the cross-state drive and a shortened roster, but uh, they gave the Millionaires everything they could handle tonight. Good yeah, thing. I must take my hat off to the Mud City Stars. They came over today, and they, they played uh, some good football. Um, we started out a little bit sluggish, a little bit slow, and uh, but we got it all together. We, 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 we put it all together, and we came out with a victory tonight. So. Justin Breinick uh, led off a story for Sarasota. A quarterback, a 51-yard touchdown pass to Gus Blank, a 551 Remaining in the first quarter, that gave the Millionaires a 7 to nothing lead. And uh, another great game for Rossan pick six Allen tonight. He had two interceptions and did uh, such a great job again uh, defending uh, the uh, Much City receivers. Yeah, man. Rossan, man, this, this kid has had an awesome season. And he put in the time, he put in the work, and it shows on Saturdays when he get on the field. And he, go, he comes out week in and week out, and he performs top-notch. I can't say enough things about Rossan. Troy Fort Myers Green had two touchdowns tonight, both on the ground, two-yard run in the uh, fourth quarter, and then uh, just a few seconds left, a three-yard uh, touchdown run. But I guess you got to say the defense tonight really did uh, a great job of, of stopping Muck City and uh, really blanketed their receivers the whole night long or all yep. afternoon long. Yeah, correct. You know, our defense has always been the backbone of our team, and, and they're definitely going to be our backbone in this playoff push. And uh, the defense, you know, always, you know, put us on their back, and hopefully the offense can continue to step up and, and do some good things, and, and we can make a strong push in the playoffs. And the big play, the big highlight real play tonight was uh, Dominique Grable's 91-yard uh, run from scrimmage, which uh, gave the Millionaires at that point a 20-13 to lead, and uh, he's a happy guy anyway, a very enthusiastic guy, and uh, I'm sure he'll be uh, talking about that play for a long time. Yes, I, I, I can imagine <laughs> he will. You know, a 91-yard, I believe that's a millionaire uh, record from scrimmage, Right, a 91-yard touchdown run, but uh, it was exciting to sit back and watch Dominique turn that corner and, 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 and motor down there for that 91-yard touchdown, and I think that's going to make his weekend that much sweeter. Well, you look ahead now, Calvin, to uh, next Saturday. You get a home playoff game now in the wild card round. Millionaires finish up with a 5-5 five and five record in the regular season. They're going against the team now that Millionaires beat back in the, the Turkey Bowl back right. in November. Didn't count in the FFA. Right. That's still a, a, a team you have beaten before, so that's got to help you, right? No, that's got to help. But I can say, man, when the playoffs start, you can sweep all that past stuff up under the road. It really doesn't mean anything. Uh, the East Coast Reapers is, has a great program over there. Um, they, they had a week this week to kind of sit back and relax and heal up a little bit and, 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 and kind of get a two-week plan to get ready to come over here and face us. So we got to get back at it next week and, and, and put all the necessary pieces of the puzzle together, get the game plan ready, because I know that uh, the Reapers are going to come in here and they're going to fight hard. I can I can assure you of that. That'll be a 7 o'clock start. 7 o'clock Saturday. next Saturday night back up under the lights. Uh, I'm pretty sure the fans are waiting for that to get back up under the lights again. I'm waiting to get back up under the lights again myself, and uh, hopefully we can, uh, you know, continue to build with this win, and bring the Reapers in here next week, pull out a win, and, and keep 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 fighting to bring a, a championship back to Sarasota. We well, invite the fans to, uh, you want to get ticket information, let's go to sarasotamillionaires.net. Of course, the game broadcast locally on radio, 1280 WTMY as well, and online, but uh, more fun if you can come out to the game in person. It's a great brand of football. Oh, yeah, definitely a great brand of football. We encourage all our fans to come out next Saturday night and support us. Uh, we need all the support that we can get. Uh, we're going to be facing some some tough teams if we continue to uh, excel. And uh, we need our fans behind us because our fans is what make this thing all a reality. And, and we need you guys. So come on out. Great. Kyle Williams, always good to talk to you. Congratulations again on the win. So it's going to be Muck City tonight by the score of 28 to 13 for Calvin Williams. I'm Doug Miles saying thanks for watching. We'll see you again from the playoffs next Saturday.